Hey, Cody at Cosmic Sound here. Today we're looking at the Behringer Digital Mixing Console. It's a 48 channel full stereo console with 28 buses, including 16 mix buses, four master outputs and eight matrixes. So we have 48 channels, they're all full stereo, arranged over four pages of 12 faders. And then we also have two user pages, which have 24 channels each. Uh, and there's two user pages per section as well. So you're not just limited to user pages on the first 12 faders. All your buses are stereo as well. So that's great for things like in-ear monitors. You don't have to link faders to get a stereo output that's all housed in every single fader being stereo already. Every stereo input channel has its own gate, compressor and EQ section that can be swapped out for various analog models of other EQs, compressors and gates. There's also two insert points per channel, which can be sent to the internal effects rack. You have the same amount of processing available on the bus outputs as well, with the exception of no gate. All the input channels have a six band parametric EQ. Uh, each band has its own Q width, gain and frequency for sweepable. Uh, which is much more than the normal four you see on digital mixing consoles. And then when you get to your bus outputs, you actually have an eight band parametric EQ. So now you're getting to the point of not needing graphic EQs in your outputs anymore. The inbuilt effects rack has 16 stereo effects slots. The first eight of which are premium effects, which can be your hall, room, vintage reverbs and tape delays. And then your standard effects have things like analog modeled EQs, compressors and even guitar amps. On top of the faders and the touchscreen, you've also got some dedicated ways to interact with the console, including the touch sensitive channel editing section, which has its own little screen, which is great for seeing exactly what your EQs are doing separate to the main screen. There's also a custom control area, which has 16 buttons and four encoders that can be mapped to whatever controls you decide. And then there's also a four channel quick control area over here that can be used for input channels and controlling thresholds for gates, compressors and the like. The wing has a bunch of I.O. built in, including onboard Midas Pro Series preamps, three AES-50 ports that work with all Behringer and Midas digital stage boxes. It's also got a built-in USB interface, uh, which can do 48 by 48 channels. And it's also expandable to have SoundGrid or Dante network I.O. at 64 by 64 channels. The console also comes with two SD card slots that can be used for multi-track playback and recording at the same time. Overall, the Wing is a great console for the price with more features than anything else in its class. And we do have one on display at the store so you can come down and try it for yourself.